So as you can see now, uh, I have a second uh, wall that I need to put cabinets on as well. I've put two sections in. I have a section that cuts through the house here and looks in this direction. And I've added another section through the house that cuts in, cuts through the house here and looks in this direction. And so this view is down here. So far, all I have are my countertops and my cooktop. And this view shows the uh, assembly of the cabinets that I put on the uh, previous, I put in on the previous uh, demonstration. And now I can pick what kind of cabinets I want. Let's say I want this kind. I simply right click and I say create similar. And then I come over here and I can Well, it didn't let me do that, which is interesting because I can do this, I believe, create similar. Yes, I can. So I can put my cabinets, my upper cabinets, but I can't put the lower cabinets in. So we'll have to do a workaround for that. And so let's see, create similar, click on it, make that active. Okay. And now for the lower cabinets, uh, I guess I'll have to do it this way. Um, I'm going to grab this, create similar, and put it in right here. It needs to be rotated because when you see these, when you click on your uh, cabinet and you see these arrows, that means that's the face. So we need the face of the cabinet facing into, so I'll just rotate that. 90 degrees. And notice I'm not trying to put it in the wall yet. I'm just simply trying to uh, put it in the model. Create similar. I'm going to put that one right here. And again, it doesn't seem to be rotated correctly, so I'll rotate it. Click on it. Rotate. Type 90. All right, so it's showing up. Uh, down here, but the reason I'm not seeing the face of it is because the section line is cutting through the cabinet instead of seeing the face. So now we can see the face. And then the last cabinet that I want to put in is this one. So I'll say, uh, click on it and I'll say create similar. It's trying to do some sort of uh, modification that I didn't want to do, create similar. Now just come over here and put it in. And again, I need to rotate it 90 degrees. All right, so now I have all of my cabinets in the location that I want them in terms of the orientation of where the place they're looking at. And then I'll simply line them up and then pull, once I get them all in, I'll just move them back up against the wall. So I'm going to click on, uh, so what do I want to do here? First thing I want to do is align this one. So I'm going to say modify align tool. I'm going to align this to here. Oops. Align this and this. Then I'm going to align this and this. And then I'm going to align this and this. And I still have some more space. So how about if I copy this guy from here to here. And now you can see that the orientation of these are the same and I really want the hinges. Uh, let's flip this one. So watch what happens when I click this arrow. Now when you take a look at it, you can see that the hinges are right. And it's pretty close but not quite. So let's see what we have here. Oh, I'm not sure about this location yet. Remember, uh, I might have an opening here and I might not. So we'll just leave that for now. Uh, but I'm going to align this and this. Uh, it looks like I copied it. I want to align it. So we go to the Modify tab, Align. Click on this line and then we'll click on this one. Okay. And then 
Let's do the same thing here. We'll align this guy. No, look at that. I want to make I want to make this cabinet the width of these two cabinets. So let me measure it. And it is two feet wide. Yep. So I'm going to click on this one and see if there's one that's already 24 inches. Yeah, uh, yes, there is. So I'll click on that one. Now again, when I change the uh, width of it, it changed it by taking a little bit off of this side and a little bit off of this side. So I need to realign it. And the reason I'm doing this will make sense in a second, because now I want to grab this, this guy and bring him over here. And I want to flip that orientation. And they should line up now. So that looks pretty good. My upper cabinets and my lower cabinets look good. And let's be lazy here. I'm going to click this and this. I'm selecting everything by holding down the control key. And I'm just going to mirror all of that about the midpoint of the oven or stove. And so I got those in there again. And then maybe I would want to do another group of these. So a real kitchen designer, of course, would be having a, a real fit right now because we, sh we shouldn't, we aren't doing a really good job of laying out the kitchen. But for purposes of this class, well, I think we are. So I'm going to put another drawer over here, copy it from here over to here. And this one, I'm going to make this drawer wider, but I don't know how wide I want to make it until I dimension it or measure it. So what is that? Well, cabinets really don't come in those dimensions, but if I wanted to use that exact width, I've copied the width up here. It's telling me up here what the width is. And then I'm going to come down here and edit the type, duplicate it. And I'm going to put that dimension in right here. So that's a really odd one. And then I'm going to change the width down here uh, by pasting that number in there. And that cabinet becomes the exact width of what I just said it was going to be. But it, cabinets come in three inch in increments. Uh, so really, in reality, there would be whatever the uh, three inch increment size is, and then there would just be what we call a filler going into there. So let's put another one of these over here. I can see there's a little gap there. So I want to move both of these over before I do any more. There's a gap there too. All right, so there must be a gap over here as well. Sure enough, there is. So let's first do this. I'll align these two. And then we'll come over here and align these two. And then come over here and align these two. I'm just trying to get rid of that gap that was there because there wouldn't be a gap. And then we'll not worry about this one because I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it a unique width, which you would, unless you're buying a custom cabinet, it's not going to come in that, that dimension. But I'll duplicate this guy and simply paste that dimension back in there and then come down and change this dimension to that. And then I will align it using the align tool and down and align this and this. Okay. Now the reality is that as an architect, we can lay out what the kitchen uh, might look like, but generally there is a kitchen designer who actually sells whatever cabinet style the client wants that would lay out the kitchen and it may be substantially different than this. But for our purposes, unless we're actually the kitchen designer, this, this is, and we're going to actually buy cabinets based upon our drawings. This is pretty good. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect. All right, so I have the large screen up here, just that, and we can say align tool. And now I want a multiple alignment. So I'm going to click that box. And then I click my line here, and then I'll just click all of the backs 
of all of the cabinets and they'll, they'll all align at the same time. It just speeds the process up a little bit. And I still have that gap there. Um, not gonna worry about it for now. All right, so that's basically my uh, cabinets on the other side of the wall. So I have my cabinets. These I'm going to delete. I'm just putting them in so that it makes it easy for me to match properties or create similar or move them around. But let's take a look at this in 3D now. I wanna see it from this side. What have I done? And there it is, look at that. Type ZE to expand it to the extents. That's a shortcut for zoom extents. In AutoCAD, you would type Z enter, E enter. In Revit, you simply just type ZE. Not to worry about the enter. And so there's, there's what it looks like.